What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. Guys, I don't want to spend any more time beating around the bush than I have to here. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at the four major cryptocurrencies as well as the stock market. Yes, again, I am combining all the cryptocurrencies into one video. And the reason being is because there is so much happening right now early in the morning that I would be doing a disservice to you guys by not talking about them all at the same time now and not waiting till the afternoon. Now, if there is time in the afternoon and markets and things have changed, then I will make a second video today. But for right now, we need to talk about what's going on within these cryptos because there are big opportunities at our hands and we're going to be breaking fairly soon and hopefully it didn't do it already. But you can see Solana, we've discovered an ascending fractal, which is very exciting. We have XRP continuing its ascending fractal here, but I'm also starting to notice if we maybe jump to like the hourly, two hour or four hour charts, there may just be some sort of uptrend symmetrical triangle forming here that we need to pay attention to as that might open up doors for a long uh, opportunity or even a short because it's already happening to the other cryptos. Ethereum is literally uh, moments away from popping, exploding, breaking, whether whether it's a massive dump to the downside or an explosion to the upside. We are moments away from seeing that happen. And that same exact thing is said about Bitcoin. So I don't want to waste any more time uh, and not show you Bitcoin and Ethereum and wait on it to the afternoon because these two cryptos, we're going to be looking at them on the hourly charts. And that means that at any given moment, we're going to be popping. And I'm excited to see the results of that. Uh, weird what just happened here. Yeah, that was super freaky. Um, okay, but anything, everything's back on XRP. Yeah, so there's a lot of things to go over, lots of things to discuss on these major cryptocurrencies. Stay tuned for every crypto that we are going to be discussing in today's episode, because if you miss out on one, you can get in on the other. And hopefully by the end of this video, in the next coming hours, we'll have an easy trade opportunity that we can take advantage of. Now, before we go any further just remember we are doing a bid fi uh giveaway here for a free 20 dollars amazon gift card giveaway uh completely free to enter drawing will be this sunday all you have to do to win the gift card uh keychains merchandise and uh this t-shirt from bid fi is literally comment your favorite cryptocurrency in the comment section below it could be an altcoin a meme coin a shit coin a poo coin uh, a dog coin or even some of your favorite blue chip cryptos just comment it down below and maybe i'll even add one to the channel so i'm excited to go over that also make sure you are subscribing to the channel and if you haven't make sure you do subscribe to the channel as that is the only way you'll be win uh you'll be able to win the giveaway because if i pick you and you're not subbed i won't send this to you and i'll pick somebody else now with that being said definitely make sure to smash that like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's jump right into today's episode I want to give a huge shout out to Go Mining, a continued sponsor on the channel for today's episode. Now, as with all cryptocurrency projects and tokens, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, Go Mining is a pioneering platform that transforms the landscape of digital mining. Go Mining offers a new way of earning Bitcoin by avoiding the difficulties associated with purchasing and maintaining mining equipment. They have even introduced the concept of buying NFTs as a means to acquire a share of hash rate power already dedicated to Bitcoin mining, which is what I want to show you today. Simply by purchasing their NFT, you obtain a portion of the power of these real cryptocurrency mining machines. So guys, it's been a couple of days and I want to show you guys the performance of my NFT miner that I bought on Go Mining. As you guys can see, this is the digital miner that actually mines cryptocurrency Bitcoin for me, which I can withdraw at any time. And as you guys can see, this is the exact one, the collection, and then pretty much the specifications of the specific miner that I purchased. And if you go over on the side here and you click rewards, you'll actually be able to see all the rewards that this has earned me over the past couple of days, every single day since the 28th. You have the 28th, the 29th, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So every single day I actually earn cryptocurrency. Now it might not be a lot, obviously because the miner only cost me 30 bucks but you can see here this is the actual bitcoin that i've earned but if you want to increase those rewards you can actually do so by clicking going back to your miner and then you can actually upgrade how quickly this miner earns rewards. You can see if I click this right here and we go to this page where we can upgrade the miner, you'll notice here there's a lot of different options. For another $40, we can increase our rewards from 11 cents a day up to 31 cents a day with $40. We go further for $100, it'll increase our rewards up to 60 cents. 
250, we get $1.40 back every single day with the Terra hash that we're mining at. And you can see 260 for $500. So you can do the opportunity cost, see when your break even and your annual ROI would be if you want to invest passively into some of these NFTs, which you can then sell and, you know, make your money back on the NFT itself. So with cryptocurrency on the rise, this is a great option for passive income. And I highly recommend you check them out in the description of today's episode. But with that being said, guys, we'll wait another couple of days, check back on the miner and uh, let's get back into the technical analysis. Alrighty guys, so that is another opportunity to make passive income with NFTs in this market that we're seeing right now. But to dive into the technical analysis here, you can see the current cryptos. We are seeing some pretty crazy stuff. Yesterday, I talked about buying back in and it might not be too late. We might have today, which is why I'm very excited uh, because of how important this opportunity might be. The fact of the matter is that XRP has broken outside of its ascending fractal here and we are gaining speed and momentum to see potentially another run or reversal to the upside we talked about this yesterday and we might have some time today to get back into it you can see quick refresh of the current coin market cap we're at 2.6 trillion dollars on the global crypto market cap beautiful looking at that up two and a half percent net 89 on the fear and greed index look at what it is that i'm referring to here you can already see the symmetrical triangles forming on almost all the major cryptocurrencies just over the last seven days on the current coin market cap here. Bitcoin is up 1.2. Ethereum's up 4. Tether is not, we're not looking at Tether. BNB is up 8. These cryptos are up double digits still for the week. Doge is up 35. Shiba still at 170 here. All these cryptos are showing big potential for runs in the near future. You can already see you don't even have to be, uh, you know, a wizard or a, you know, a master at or a professional at trading crypto to see that there's a clear resistance and a clear uptrend here. There's a clear uptrend and a clear price floor here. You can see it. It is all clearly getting mapped out where we have top resistances and supports. And this is that opportunity to take advantage of these and trade them ASAP. So I'll start with XRP. Then we'll look at Solana. And then please stick around and watch the Ethereum and Bitcoin trades because those might be the early ones that we are able to take advantage of. But um, jumping forward here, we're going to talk about this again for those that are new to the channel because we get tons of new subs and new people watching every day. But you can see here XRP in its entirety since last year, January of 2023, it's over a year now, has consistently formed historical bull flag formations here. And you can see I've drawn them out. I've mapped them all there. We've had five so far that have been confirmed. And you can see a bull flag for those that might be new bull flag crypto, this is what a bull flag looks like. It's a flag pull up the flag itself and then a break and a continuation pattern. So if I jump back to XRP, you can see there is a bull flag up the flag pull down, and then the breakout. That is a bull flag. It is textbook obvious. Once we started to take note of one or two, we started to say, hey, XRP seems to like doing this, and it's a good chance it's going to continue to pan out. Here's another flag pull, flag down, breakout. Here's another one, flag pull, flag down, breakout. Here's another one, flag pull, flag down, breakout. And here's another one, flag pull, flag down, breakout. Now, to get even crazier with you, consistently on these breakouts, we don't just see a rally up. It's not just the elevator straight to the upside here. What we tend to see is a small pullback, a dip midway between the breakout that actually continues to allow the markets to kind of refresh, regain some stability, and then pump even higher. So on XRP, look, we have a breakout followed by some sort of consolidation. And if we zoomed in closer, you'd see it's a symmetrical triangle. This led to a continued final pump rally within it. Move forward to number two on our bull flag breakout. We break out of it, consolidate a little bit lower, continue to pump higher. Number three, we don't have it as much. It's not the one, it's not that accurate, but number four was huge. We had tons of consolidation. We break out, rally up, back down, then pump even higher. Now we're looking at number five. We looked at four, this is five. We break out of it. We're starting to consolidate back down. This might allow us to then pump even higher for a continued rally that we're all anticipating and waiting on. You can see here, we've been tracking um, on the relative strength indicator, this kind of downtrend here. And for a very long time, it was very rock solid and it's been difficult to break through. Well, recently, this was back in kind of mid, uh, or sorry, the beginning of February, the first week in February, we saw the breakout take place and we bought in for a rally to the upside. I mean, it doesn't get 
any easier than this. This is why I make these videos for you because I can pick up on these things since I've been doing it for years now. Well, guess what? There's a new pattern forming here, an uptrend. We found a support. Check that out. Prices are beautifully moving up. Not so much an uptrend, that's for sure. I mean, we could draw like this. It's not the most accurate, but I'm gonna delete this for us. Check that out. We have an ascending fractal heading us higher and higher and higher. And the price is doing exactly that. So it is rebounding and moving up. And we're continuing to do that. We just saw the recent break. A lot of people are thinking we're going to pump higher. It's very possible. But you'll notice a new pattern is forming here. We jump to like the hourly charts. Check it out. We have some sort of potential downtrend like that. A little bit more difficult to pan out, but a downtrend nonetheless. Again, hard to say where this is exactly because of how new this is, how quick this is. There's not enough support and there's just not enough candle. There's not enough history for us to confirm how uh, XRP wants to move. But I'll swing it back to the four hour. You can kind of see what it is that we're dealing with here, that there is some sort of formation happening here that we need to pay attention to. Price ceiling, downtrend support, all coming into one point of apex here. And a decision is going to have to be made. Breakout, breakdown. Regardless, you can see how we're spiraling in. Higher lows, lower highs, filling this in. Again, it, it could be too early on XRP to take advantage of this market, uh, this small, extremely aggressive trade. But when it does, we'll take advantage of it using BidFi. When we confirm closure, we might still just, you know, you kind of flatline out here and we'll, we'll adjust the tar charts accordingly. But we could see a reversal. We could see a dump. When it does happen, we'll be able to buy in and long or short it and on an aggressive scale. It is very aggressive to be trading on hourly or four-hour charts in any sense here. But we're going to do so on BidFi. And on top of that, BidFi, for those that don't know, is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange. And I highly recommend you take advantage of them. I begged them to change the current uh, reward for signing up because it was terrible. They wanted like a 300K trading volume to get get like a hundred bucks. I was like, that's nuts. You know, a lot of people want exchanges. They're signing up to, you know, a lot of people like you guys, they're new, they're beginners to then say, you need to make 300 K in trading volume is nuts for a reward. So I had it switched. This is the easiest, best and simplest uh, reward that you can claim. You can earn $200 in free cryptocurrency by literally, by literally making a deposit on the exchange. It's that simple. Hopefully that's easy. You can see the rules right there. Again, if you want more information, the link is down in the descri description. Click it, sign up or sign in, and you'll see the reward and how to claim it. And it is that easy. Go get some free cryptocurrency, $200, that simple. Um, and then beyond that, we'll be doing these trades on BidFi, like I said, number one cryptocurrency exchange because we have XRP that we can leverage trade here. I begged and pleaded them to add XRP. They finally did, and it has been great um, because now we can trade an on an all-in-one exchange because we used to have multiple exchanges now I use one mainly. And you can see we have XRP pulled up here. And this is awesome because I can buy long, I can sell short, I can create stop losses, I can create take profits, so on and so forth here. They even have a welcome rewards bonus and a demo account. So for my beginners out there, not only can you get that free $200 in sign up bonus that we just did, but then you can get even more over 2k in rewards right here by uh, completing these easy, simple tasks in the description, or sorry, right over here. And you can click that link in the description to sign up. The best part is you can first start off trading on the demo account. Yes, they have a demo account that gives you 50K in Monopoly money to test your skills completely free. Get familiar with the pat. Uh, the platform, um, you know, take advantage of it, learn, you know, test your trades, test my trades, trades, get familiar. I'm like losing my speech. Um, and then when you're ready, you can switch on over to the live account, which is very exciting. Then you can use your bonus money that you got for free. And then any profit you make off of that, you can keep uh, for free and withdraw from the exchange, which is awesome. I mean, it's the best way to just all in one way platform to use to get all this stuff. It's incredible. I love it. Make sure to check it out down in the description below. Anywho, moving forward from XRP, hopefully we covered that. Yes, this is going to be a long lengthy video, but it is well worth it here. Solana is starting to form some consolidation. Not much happening with Solana. The only thing I need to do is go like this. That was it. Uh, so I just wanted to update you guys on that. Still tracking an ascending fractal. Potential correction is definitely on its way. Jumping to the daily to get a better overview. You can see we did actually confirm closure above here. So that was an opportunity to buy in and long. So if you guys already took advantage of that, it is more of a moderate to risky trade. But a buy in on here because of, you know, We've already been rallying up. So we are looking at this ascending fractal and there is a chance we could reject off of it. It is more of that moderate trade. I don't even, I'm mainly focused on uh, 
Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP than Solana right now, unfortunately, but that's just the truth. Uh, but we need to look at this. I've been beating around the bush. We need to go over these cryptocurrencies because these are going to pop off at any moment. And uh, I want to get in on them and hopefully you guys too. But simply put, we need to, we need to ma uh, move these. Because as I told you in the past, um, we, we got this in really early. Like we got into this very early on and we're now starting to see it all start to, sh to take shape. I said this a couple of days ago when we were tracking it. I don't even know if I have it pulled up on uh, previous thumbnails here. I uh, Maybe I did um, a couple of days ago here. You can see these kind of technical indicators, the uh, sideways channels here. But Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Regardless here, uh, we're, we've been tracking these way early. Like we got in on the last one right here and that was a buying opportunity. And now we're seeing another one right here, uh, which would also scream buy an opportunity. Notice when this breakout actually occurred and how much higher we went, we were already 66 in the RSI and we pumped all the way up. So even if we are nearing that exact level now, we could even head higher up and we would enter overbought and it would be totally fine. But you can see here, I told you early on, we're going to track this hourly chart here. We're going to have to tweak these charts, move it up, move it down. And what I mean by that is these supports and resistances. We're going to be moving it around just enough until we get that confirmation. And it seems like it's pretty much solidified now where you can see the higher lows and lower highs have happened. We fell. We went back up. We started to consolidate, filling the gap in, getting squeezed. And you can see it's about to pop very soon and when it does we'll have that buy an opportunity yes it's scary we could have bull traps it's very easy we could do this and it's very easy we could do that which would suck and that's why we have these stop loss because if we do this and we have a stop loss here we sell off here switch our position to a short and capitalize off the dump vice versa we do this we have a stop loss right here we get stopped out right here we switch our position to a long and we long it to the upside so keep your eyes peeled on XRP and also Bitcoin also showing signs of potential breakout very, very soon. We're going to move this up like that. We're going to extend this just a wee bit. And you could start to see now the indicators that are forming here. We could even leave it like this if we want. But you can see now what exactly is going on. Can we move this down? Uh, yeah, we could. It's a bit tougher. I don't know how we want to do it, whether we leave it like this, whether we move it down like that. I think they're all the same thing at, at one point or another it just depends on how you want to how you want to leave it i guess we can leave it like this for now because it really doesn't matter but you can see kind of what's at play here so we're going to get a big volume spike very 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 soon you can see this filling in the gap and at some point that same thing that i just explained on ethereum is going to happen to bitcoin again these are hourly trades guys so get in get out very quickly that's what i plan on doing um, because of how aggressive this is as a trade so keep your eyes peeled on this as this could pop off at any given moment you know we're at sixty-eight thousand dollars within bitcoin right now we are approaching our peak high which was 69k if we pop off from that, we are going to explode up. And I mean explode up. You can see us starting to pull and consolidate. You can already see it taking shape here right now, forming another one. We're coming back up. You know, we retested an all-time highs. Now we're coming back up a second time to retest that. Notice when we were at 68.7, we were extremely overbought on the four hour at 85. Now we're retesting that same level we're down to 61 huge opportunity to pump higher. We're coming back up to do it again, and there's a good chance we're going to blast through it. So keep your eyes peeled on this um, as it will open up some very good rewards. Now, another uh, tip for you guys. Trading on the hourly is very aggressive. It's very aggressive. How do you wait uh, for a less aggressive market? Well, we jump to the four hour here, and if we can confirm closure above this on the four hour scale, then it is less aggressive. It's more moderate than it would be an aggressive scale here. So that's pretty much an update for today's video. Uh, S&P just pumped even freaking higher as expected. At some point or another, I pretty much hypothesized what I expect to happen, but you can kind of see this movement like this. So there's a good chance it's going to happen. And at some point, like I said, like a water park, that big bucket is going to fill and it's going to dump on our heads and we're going to see that dip of about 15% easy. But with that being said, smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.